Hi, welcome to Slow Down Sunshine. I'm Ashley and that is Rosie. And today I'm gonna tell you a story that I'm calling Manifesting for Four-Year-Olds. So, I hate to burst your bubble. You are not gonna find all of your manifesting answers in this video, because I am not a manifesting expert. But I have learned a very important lesson through my daughter. Yeah, that's you. This was a few weeks ago. We were in the van and it was time to fill up her drink cup. She drinks diluted juice. And that started because she had some constipation issues when she was little and the doctor suggested I try apple juice. If you give a small child apple juice, they're not gonna wanna drink water. I drink water. She drinks water sometimes. Not a whole lot, but I dilute it. Anyway, so it was time to fill up her juice cup. We had lemonade. And the lemonade had pulp. Yeah, so I think it, it was limeade or apple juice were her options. And I said, hey baby, do you want limeade or do you want apple juice? And I had asked her a couple of times and eventually she said, I don't know, you choose. So I chose limeade because it was the easiest to get out of the refrigerator. And I filled up her drink cup and gave it to her. And she was not happy because she didn't want limeade. I do want limeade. I just don't like the pulp. She doesn't like juice with pulp in it. Yeah. But she wanted the apple juice. However, she said, I don't know. You pick. So I picked. So manifesting lesson for four-year-olds is ask for what you want. Because if you don't ask for what you want, no one can give it to you. Not your mom, not God, not the universe, not God, your no. boss, not your spouse, nobody. Nobody can give you what you want if you don't ask for it. That is the first lesson. Similarly, I was watching a video about manifesting or something along those lines and they use the analogy of sit down at a restaurant and the waitress or waiter is like what do you want to eat and you're like I don't know food they're gonna be like okay we have lots of food like what kind of food do you want I don't know just food just bring me something chances are you're not gonna get what you really wanted no matter who you're talking to your higher power your God universe yourself your child your spouse Ask for what you want, and if you don't know what you want, spend a little bit of time digging into that. What is it that you want? It could be a lot of different things, right? From what you want for dinner to what you want out of life. So the other part of that conversation with Rosie that she was not happy about was I explained to her that I can't know what she wants. I can't know what she's thinking about. I can't know what's in her mind unless she tells me. And that was very upsetting to her that I couldn't read her mind. And that made me pause too. How many times do we adults or anybody get upset because someone or something does not do what we want them to, what we feel like they should know we want them to do. <laughs> like, it's kind of absurd, this human behavior of ours of wanting someone else to like be able to read our mind and be able to deliver on what it is that we want without voicing it. I've been there before. I've been there with um, relationships, with marriages. You know, the whole, I shouldn't have to tell him what I want. I shouldn't have to tell him how to treat me with love and things like that. And it's like, well, sometimes you do have to communicate what it is that you desire to get it and uncommunicated desires are often unfulfilled. And of course, a lot of us weren't taught that. That's not something they teach in schools. It's not something that a lot of families teach. So as I learn things on this journey of parenthood with my little one here, I wanna share them because this will resonate with someone and it'll help you and it'll give you pause to think about what is it that I'm upset about today that's not going my way and it's all maybe because you've yet to communicate your desire for it. Thank you guys for watching as always. Give me a thumbs up or a comment if you liked this style of video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what types of videos that you like because if I don't ask, you can't tell me. So we love you guys. Thank you for coming along on all of our adventures. This place is gorgeous. This is Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. So this is Lake Superior. 
and it's as beautiful as any other spot on Lake Superior. Mwah. Take care. <laughs> you want to smash that, don't you? Rosie, smasher of sandcastles. You don't know how to hang? <laughs> Rosie doesn't know how to hang.